Aloha friends, welcome to a Simply Simple Life. Today I will show you how I deep clean my Keurig machine. Now if you're like us, we use our Keurig machine every single day. We cannot start the day without having our coffee. So to deep clean your Keurig machine is actually a very easy process, although it is time consuming. All you will need is your dish soap, a cleaning brush, I use uh, Viva paper towels, it's very um, durable, and distilled white vinegar, and then also just some added purified water. Now the reason that I like to use purified water to deep clean my um, Keurig machine is instead of tap water is because tap water has added um, minerals in there um, for, for us to consume. Purified water enables it to clean without all that added uh, minerals because it's the minerals that will have the white buildup onto your machine. Okay. First of all, take your Keurig machine and empty out some of the removable components. For instance, if there's a K cup still in there, take that out. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the K cup holder. Now be careful with this because it does have some sharp needles. We will also be removing the reservoir. So take out the lid, take this out, dump out the water. The nice thing about the reservoir and the lid and also the K-cup holder is that it's dishwasher safe. Now if you prefer, you can put the reservoir, the lid, and the K-cup holder into the dishwasher. But I just like to clean mine over the sink with a nice dishwashing soap like Dawn to get rid of all the buildup that's in here. Now while I clean the main machine, I will take the reservoir and I added just a little um, amount of dishwashing soap, added some tap water in there and this will soak while I clean the machine. Okay. Now you're going to take the drip tray and the drip tray cover. Now you can either clean this just like I'm doing with the reservoir or you can also run it in your dishwasher. Now that we have the machine opened up, the reservoir is empty and the K-cup holder is empty. As you can see, it's got all those buildups of the coffee grounds as well as inside there. What we need to do is get our cleaning toothbrush. So with that, I don't want to add water to this. However, I do want to get my brush and put into some water and just basically go in there and just start cleaning it out. Now for those hard to reach areas, just get like a butter knife, wet my, my paper towel and just basically just go in there. And then it's easier to reach than the brush. As you can see, it gets pretty dirty up in there. Then I'm just gonna change up my towels and keep cleaning until it comes out clean. Now that it's coming out nice and clean, it's time to move on to the reservoir. Like I said, be careful because there is a needle up here. I still, I'm gonna wipe that down because it does get dirty. Now, for this part, you get your butter knife. And you go around. Now that everything has been clean, if you have a clean dishcloth, go ahead and wipe everything down. As I have earlier. And now it's nice and shiny again. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean the inside part of the Keurig with vinegar. You're going to use distilled white vinegar and you're going to fill it halfway up the reservoir. With the reservoir filled halfway with vinegar, we're going to go ahead and start brewing without any K cups in there. And this will basically use up the reserve water that is still in the machine. Now that that process is done, I'm going to go ahead and dump this out. Okay. 
open it up and then it's gonna tell you it's ready to brew again so we're gonna repeat the process and we're gonna keep repeating the process until this reservoir is empty now this seems to be the last cycle for the pure um, vinegar that's in the reservoir because when it starts blinking like that okay, push it up, it's telling you that it's not ready because you have to add more water so now I've got my reserve purified water in here I'm gonna go ahead and add that now I'm gonna keep running this until this one is also empty so what I'm basically doing now is that just getting rid of all the vinegar um, that's still in the system now again it's telling me to add more water so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is dump this out and start with the regular kind of water that I use for brewing my coffee now your Keurig machine is nice and deeply clean a good tip with the Keurig machines is that if you know that you're gonna go on vacation for a while or know that you're not gonna use your machine go ahead and take take out the reservoir and empty the water because having the water in here for a long period of time and not using it will have the white buildup in your machine I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how to deep clean your Keurig machine. As always, mahalo.